Minister, with fuel taxes uh, being considered at this time, it's an amazing uh, crisis that your government should be facing because you have no understanding of the difficulties people are finding themselves under in this country at the moment. And you're quite smug about it, quite happy. Green Party are wagging the tail and you're running along with it. The barrel of fuel is, is at its lowest ever, but fuel in Ireland is rocketing through the roof. People can't afford to go, get into their car, they can't afford to take their children to school, can't afford to put food on the table. The VAT rate, you done the people there as well, which are 9 to 13.5%. You're shutting uh, restaurants all over the country. You have the clue what's going on, the reality on the ground. And the people didn't that want public transport. They can't get public transport. Come back to my own constituency, and I can't dwell on that. It's right throughout the country as well. You have areas like Ballinhasic, Goldeen, Dunmanway, Drina, nothing. No public transport in most of them places. Ballinhasic, you have a senator there in West Cock roaring every day of the week, blaming private operators. When does the government should be delivering there? And he's failing in his duty to deliver to the people of Ballinhasic. But of course, point the finger at everybody else, but his own government. It's a crazy situation. You have your politicians all over West Cork. I had a Fianna Fáil council the other day shouting and roaring, blaming me that the funding for roads is lower now than it ever was. The lowest allocation this year. He had a big meeting last week in government buildings about the roads allocations for West Cork. When does your government are to blame? It should have been, that meeting should have been held four years ago. It's an astonishing situation we find ourselves in. That people are struggling at this present time. You don't seem to care. Carbon tax, you were all jumping and lipping here and saying it all, looking forward to it. Nobody wants to hear about it now. You're all heroes now. We are all trying to find back, back us on this side. And the retrofitting is correct. That was mentioned there with the goal by uh, Deputy Shannon. It's not happening. It's not happening in my constituency. You shouldn't have to wait two years for retrofitting after the Green Party inside in government. Get out of government. You're not fit to be in, this, in, this, in government in this country. You're Turn your back on the people and they will turn their back on you in the next month.